idea is to boost Santa construction for more granny flats or accessory dwelling units by eliminating costly fees and add more affordable housing to a community that's crying out for them. We know that not only are nonprofit workers being priced out of our community, we know that our clients uh, in our community are struggling to stay and maintain in our community. The decision by Santa Cruz County Supervisors to waive fees on construction of granny units has the full support of the nonprofit Community Bridges, which provides basics to those in need throughout the county. ADUs aren't going to make uh, a huge dent in, in the housing options, but you know what? Uh, we need every single tool in the toolkit uh, in order to move the tide against this housing crisis. Supervisor Zach Friend pushed for the waiver, which can add up to $7,500 in some cases. He says granny units are a quick way to address the housing shortage. It's a lot faster to build 20, 30, 50 of these accessory dwelling units. That can be done in months versus years. And so we think that if we can incentivize this development, we can get a lot new affordable housing built in our community faster. On average, the county receives 50 requests for new accessory dwelling units a year. This year the county has streamlined the process and has already received 75 requests. Obviously uh, there's we need to be in implementing a lot of different tools um, which the county is doing at this point in time but definitely we have a dearth of small units. We have not been building enough of the efficiency one bedroom two bedroom units. This is a way to get those units built in single family neighborhoods. The county has provided an online toolkit for property owners to determine if they're eligible to build a granny unit. There's research for funding and other cost estimates. Dan, Aaron. Phil, thank you. This is a three-year pilot program to figure out if any or what kind of impact this will have on the housing market.